Okay guys, so we're going to be making some crispy Korean fried chicken. So we're going to prepare our chicken wings for that. All right, so here I have my chicken wings. I don't have much, this is all I have. But in order to prepare this, what we're going to do, now first, what I did, I washed this out already and I dried my chicken wings as best as possible, okay? Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch. So this measurement that I'm giving you here, for every one pound of chicken, this is what you would add. So if this is one pound that I have here, then it would be one teaspoon of cornstarch that I will add to it here, okay? Um, so if it is two pounds, then it will be two teaspoons of cornstarch, right? So we're gonna add, uh, now I'm adding one teaspoon of salt, okay? And I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder, all right? What I'm going to do is massage all of these things in thoroughly, right? Give it a nice massage. So I use paper towels to help to um, dry my chicken wings after I had um, washed them. I washed it in some lime. All right, so I'm just gonna massage this in. All right, I think this is thoroughly massaged. This should be good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to spread this out and I'm gonna put this into my fridge. Oh, this is twisted. Let's get that straight. I'm gonna put this into my fridge to dry out. Okay, so that's what you wanna do. We are not, you, we are not going to cover it, I'm not covering it. We're just gonna leave it open so that the cold air of the fridge will help to dry it up because remember in order to get things nice and crunchy and crispy you need it to be very dry okay that's how you get your crispy skin all right so we're going to put this into the refrigerator now All right, so in order to make our liquid batter for our Korean fried chicken wings, we're going to use a half cup of cornstarch. Okay. I'm going to use a half cup, in my case, of gluten-free flour. Put in my butter, one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. And you will put one teaspoon of black pepper. In my case, I'm not going to use one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning blend which does have black pepper in it all right so we want to mix this well okay so now i'm going to add one cup of water All 
right, so here we have our liquid batter for frying. Okay guys, so we're going to be making a Korean style sauce. So to make our sauce, we're going to need one tablespoon of sesame oil. Okay. We're going to need one teaspoon of ga um, minced garlic and one teaspoon of minced ginger. Now that this is fragrant, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. All right, I'm going to add, let's get some of this out here. Going to add three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three. I'm going to add one tablespoon of honey. Let's just stir this so we can get our sugar to dissolve. All right, we're going to add one tablespoon of tamari soy sauce. Now, to make this a Korean style sauce, you would uh, add at this point in time three tablespoons of gochujang, but I don't have that, so I'm going to substitute with Frank's hot sauce. So I'm going to add three tablespoons of that. Of course, if you have gochujang, then you can add that. And that is what makes it Korean. All right, so let's just stir everything together. And lastly, I will add about half a teaspoon of salt to this. And about half a teaspoon of salt. So there you have it, folks, our Korean style sauce. Okay guys, so our chicken ha has dried out in the fridge. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put some cornstarch in this bowl. Cause we need to put the chicken into the corn, the dry cornstarch before we put it into the liquid batter. And by doing that, it will help the liquid batter to adhere to the chicken, okay? So we're just gonna do a little cornstarch dredge. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of cornstarch here and we're just gonna use that to dredge our chicken before putting it into our liquid batter, All right? So I'm just gonna drop it in to the cornstarch. And we're just going to mix it around. So this will ensure that we get a nice, crispy, crunchy chicken wing. All right, I think this is well coated. 
So the next step is dipping it into our liquid butter and then putting it in our fryer to fry. Okay guys, so here I have my station set up. So I have my chicken here that was dredged in the cornstarch. I have my liquid butter and I have my fryer here, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our, we'll just stir this around a little more again. All right. All right, so we're gonna dip our chicken into our butter, like so. We're gonna drain off the excess butter. And then we're gonna put it into our fryer. Just saw a little air pocket there, so I just dipped it back again. Let's just get, make sure we get everything nice and coated. All right, shake out the excess. And now we put it into the fryer. What I'm gonna do is kinda put it in a little bit before releasing it. Just kinda get a little, and what I'm doing, I'm setting it here, and then I'm gonna release. I don't want to overcrowd it, so. So that's gonna be my process from the dry to the wet to the fryer. Guys, can you hear how crunchy that is? All right, so what I'm gonna do is um, put it on this rack here, and then I will apply the sauce after. So I'm just gonna put it on this rack, this rack here, All right? Can you see there? Okay guys, so our chicken is finished frying. So I'm gonna add it to my bowl here now. If you listen, you can hear how crunchy it is. Can you hear that? Really nice and crunchy. And then we're gonna add our sauce to it. a piece of butter. I'm going to eat that. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? Let's take another piece. Really crunchy. Okay. I'm going to just put this aside. Okay, so I have the sauce here. So what I'm going to do, now remember this is a spicy sauce, so I'm going to Drizzle some of the sauce over it. I'm not gonna use all of the sauce. Just use some, okay? Spicy Korean fried chicken. If anybody wants more, they could always add more to it. So 
So maybe I should do, take a bite of one so that you guys can hear the crunch. All right, let me just use this plate here, okay? So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be biting into this one, okay? So let's hear the crunch. Well, I'm right into the meat there. Have you heard the crunch? Of course, once you put a sauce on it, you know, you wouldn't get as much crunch as if I didn't put a sauce. The sauce will obviously um, soften it. But well, this is what's left of our chicken. If you want to hear the sound of the crunch, this butter here, if I bite it, you'll hear it. Can we hear that? enough of that all right guys so there you have it our spicy korean fried chicken